it has been revealed that the United Kingdom granted asylum to Rwandan refugees, while also arguing that the country was safe. We're going to read into this more from The Guardian, you guys. Let's go. Uh, Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Regan O'Leary here with an article from The Guardian with the headline that it's been revealed that the UK's granted asylum to Rwandan refugees while arguing that the country was safe. The Home Office said refugees' fear of persecution was well-founded, undermining Rishi Sunak's claim about the East African country. Guys, while you're here, make sure you hit the like button and share across social media so other people are aware of this video. Migration. Rwanda. Again. Like... We're, the reason why I'm talking about this again and the reason why I'm going to be covering this article in particular is because one such organisation that took part in this in this piece here, guys, by The Guardian was an organisation called Led by Donkeys. Now, you may or may not have heard of them, but I'm going to put a link to their channel in the description down below. And I highly recommend you check out their channel because they do some fantastic work in exposing the stench and the corruption that is the Conservative government that runs the United Kingdom and this headline in itself just screams of of a joke that this, gov this, this government is trying to push through a policy when they blatantly know that this policy doesn't work the fact that they are granting asylums to Rwandan refugees from Rwanda to the UK while also trying to argue that the country that they want to deport people to is safe. It's just ridiculous, isn't it? Just the headline here itself is just ridiculous. And we talk so many times about how pathetic and how pointless this thing is, this policy is. And now more than ever, it is buried six feet under. How can you justify defending this? Just based on that headline, without even reading the article, guys. How can you justify it? We're taking in their refugees. When the whole point of us, the whole point of the policy is to deter people from crossing the border, from crossing over, to stopping the boats. It's supposed to deter them, isn't it? And we want to reduce the migration levels. And yet here it is in black and white. We're taking in more refugees, more migration right there. Aren't you mad? Four Rwandans were granted refugee status in the UK over well-founded fears of persecution at the same time as the government was arguing in court and parliament that the East African country was a safe place to send asylum seekers. An investigation by The Observer and the campaign group led by Donkeys revealed for the first time details of the Home Office decisions on Rwandans who have been given asylum in the past four months claiming they were at risk from the regime. The document raises fresh questions over the Prime Minister's claim that Rwanda is unequivocally safe for asylum seekers. They are revealed ahead of this week's debate in the House of Lords over the proposed new Rwanda bill, which aims to prevent legal challenges to transporting asylum seekers to the African state. The Conservative government wants to send all asylum seekers who entered the UK across the channel on small boats to Rwanda, arguing that it would act as a deterrent. The Supreme Court last year ruled that Rwanda was unsafe, leading Sunak to introduce a new legislation which, he argues, alienates those concerns. Yet, the very same time, they're taking in refugees and claiming those from Rwanda. You couldn't make this up. The investigation has also seen details of a dossier compiled by a Western intelligence agency that accused Rwanda of oxygenating a dirty tricks campaign to smear and undermine critics, including those based in the UK. It is further claimed that a London PR firm set up social media accounts to target a British author, but the company has denied this. Oh, really? Oh, really? 
One of Rwandans was granted asylum by the Home Office on the 12th of October, the day after the government concluded a case in the Supreme Court arguing the country was safe. The refugee was the support of an opposition party led by Victoria Abigail Uperich, apologies for mispronunciation, who is campaigning for the justice for colleagues who have been killed or disappeared. The Rwandans also witnessed alleged atrocities committed by the President Paul Kamagan's forces in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. Yeah, because by the way, there's a lot of tension between the two countries as well, their neighbour. Yeah, don't know, really know too much about that. You don't know? Well, now you know. He and his wife were granted asylum with the Home Office stating in the letter, we accept that you have a well-founded fear of persecution and therefore cannot return to your country Rwanda. And we have recognised that you are a refugee under the 1951 Refugee Convention. The refugee who still fears for his safety said Britain should stop pretending that this is a safe place. Find some other excuse for sending people to Rwanda. But don't say that it that say it's because the place is safe, because it is insulting to people like me. Another Rwandan refugee who has spoken out on the grounds of autonomously has said he sought refugee in the UK because he feared he would be targeted by the regime over a family member's suspected links to the opposition. A Home Office decision later dated the 17th of October 2023 accepted that he had a well-founded fear of persecution. The Rwandans said refugees sent to his country would be safe if they had kept their head down and did not criticise the government, but if they started speaking out they would get into trouble. He said, if that were to happen in Rwanda, then you're trending a very fine line. Anything can happen to you. It doesn't really take much in Rwanda. Even the more the mere suspicion of being sympathetic to the opposition is enough. People have died for much, much less, and they have been in prison for much, much less. You get the feeling now that those who are trying to defend the policy, you really are trying to hide really hard under that rock of yours, aren't you now? Another asylum seeker from the African state was a woman who was being forced by the regime to work for the Rwandan intelligence. She was granted asylum on the 24th of November, according to information by Greater Manchester Immigration Agent, an organisation supporting people subject to immigration control. All four cases were given asylum on application to the Home Office without the need to go to tribunal. Ali Akamang, who is the vice chairman of the opposition Rwanda National Congress Party and lives in London, says... The fact that these Rwandans are still being granted asylum in the UK shows that shows the Rwanda bill for what it is. It's politically motivated. There may be an assemblance of order or rule of law in Rwanda, but it's a dictatorship and there's no safety for the people living there. The details of the four cases obtained by the Observer and led by Donkeys are in addition to six Rwandans whose Home Office figures suggest were granted asylum in the UK between April 2022 when the policy was first announced and September 2023. In November, the Supreme Court ruled that the government's original Rwanda plan was unlawful, and refugees could face the biggest risk of being returned to their home country. It also cited concerns about Rwanda's poor human rights record. The judgment also included a reference to Rwanda's police shooting and killing 12 refugees at a protest over cuts to food rations in 2018. Oh yes, yes, they kill, they kill refugees who, who argue as well. Did you not know that? Oh, now you know. The judgment noted Rwanda had made great progress economically and socially and is an important part of the UK. The UK signed a new treaty with Rwanda last month to ensure people sent there are not returned to their home countries. It also says asylum seekers removed to the country will be monitored by an independent committee. The new safety of Rwanda Asylum and Immigration Bill asserts Rwanda is safe for the purposes of removing individuals to the country and it will comply over the new treaty. The Home Office spokesperson said, People with many different nationalities apply for the asylum in the UK. These include nationals from some of our closest European neighbours and other safe countries in the world. As part of our response to surprise court judgments, we have signed a treaty with Rwanda that makes it clear that individuals relocate to Rwanda under the partnership would not be returned to an unsafe country. They haven't responded to the top headline there. The Home Office says Rwanda has a track record of welcoming asylum seekers 
and looking after refugees with a Supreme Court recognised changes that could be made its partnership with Rwanda work. A Home Office spokesperson said the department did not comment on specific cases. You mean like the specific ones where you took in Rwandans from Rwanda? The High Commission of Rwanda did not respond to a request for comment. Hmm, they did not. Apparently not. <sighs> dear, oh dear, oh dear, guys. Well, you know, I, I'm getting fed up of talking about Rwanda, but I felt that this one was really important to highlight, considering it was not just by The Guardian, but by Led by Donkeys, and they are very, very good with their work. Like I said, I will put the details for them in the description down below as well. What do I make of this? <laughs> it's a joke. It's an absolute effing joke, guys. We have wasted taxpayer money on this. I've even covered a story about how potentially us taxpayers could be paying for Rwandan homes in Rwanda that has absolutely nothing to do with us potentially deporting people there as well. It's just the amount of taxpayer money is being, being thrown at this. This is a dead duck. It really is. The Lord should throw this out just based on this evidence alone. On this evidence alone, they should throw it out. But, you know, Sunak has got to have something, hasn't he? Because all he can do is bluffer and bliffer about immigration, but not actually do anything. And that's what's been happening for the last, I was saying the last few years, actually, in particular, I'll go as far, that the government really have not done anything for its people. They really have not. And just looking to stoke tension, uh, the, uh, separation, trying to turn us against each other, using the media to try and blame people for things. This policy is dead. And soon, at the next general election, I hope they're gone. I really hope they're gone. Whether it's a Labour majority or a hung parliament, I hope the Conservatives really do get an absolute whooping at the next general election, whenever that will be. Because... They have wasted so much taxpayer money. And the fact that they've even taken in Rwanda refugees just screams of how pathetic and how embarrassing they really are. But what do you guys think? Are you surprised by this? We have taken in Rwandan refugees while also arguing that the country is safe. <laughs> There's a word that describes this, guys, and I'm sure some of you will mention it. In the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and share this across social media so other people are aware of this. And hit that bell notification icon, guys, so you'll be notified when I upload another video. And if you want to financially support me, you can do so by joining YouTube membership for as little as 99p or exclusive content on my Patreon. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I hope to catch you all very, very soon.